All right, just going to follow on from that previous tutorial. We've still got this Manchester image here, and if you remember, we ha we had the undue history palette loaded up. We also uh, looked at how to create a duplicate layer and to desaturate it using the shortcut Shift uh, Control U. We can also move this undo history tab up to our layers. You see there, we just mouse down it, drag it up until the blue highlight line comes around, then release your mouse and that will locate that next to your layers tab. Now it doesn't have to be there, of course, you can actually just mouse down it, you can take it elsewhere. So I'm going to mouse down this, just move it across here and I can release it there and you can have it floating above your image if you wanted to. Uh, for the sake of tidiness, I'm going to put it back there, wait for the blue line to appear and release the mouse and there we have a bit of tidiness in our layer stack. Um, one of the things we didn't look at, of course, was the blend modes of different layers. Now, we're going to look at some blend modes now. Um, you can see this drop-down list here, all these blend modes, lots to look at. Uh, we're going to concentrate on just a few in here. Um, you can see there they're actually grouped into different sets. Uh, we're going to look at the multiply, uh, the screen, and uh, we're going to look at overlay, soft light, and hard light. Now, those, those blend modes... Uh, it could be a first port of call reading blend mode. You can see there we multiply. What it's actually doing is the top layer is multiplying the values of all the pixels on the background layer. So you're going to get darker shadows and darker highlights. Uh, and you can see there it's a pretty strong, uh, meaty image using the multiply blend mode on the top. But it's quite different if we put the screen blend mode. Screen blend mode, something like shining a torch through that top layer. Uh, it's going to lighten up the bottom layers, lighten up the composite of the two. And you can see the highlights are blowing out, but the shadows are also appearing much brighter. Let's have a look at these three. So we go into overlay, and you see there it adds contrast. So you're going to get darker shadows. Uh, the highlights starting to blow out a bit. And uh, the same thing happens, but to a lesser degree, if we go into soft light. And soft light's going to give you that pop of contrast, uh, but still retain some detail in the highlights and shadows. And hard light, again, is going to give you a slightly harder look to things. So your highlights are really going uh, off the scale, and your shadows are really getting quite deep. Uh, so those are really the, the basic blend modes to be looking at. Um, the other thing to look at, of course, is the opacity of that layer in which you're applying a blend mode. So we can actually fine-tune the effect of that uh, duplicate layer in a blend mode by sliding the opacity slider up and down above our background layer. So you can see there we've reduced the opacity of this hard light blend low Manchester blend uh, monochrome layer to 30% sitting over our background layer. So that's really just uh, popping the contrast up slightly. You can see from our drop down menu, we could go back in and choose uh, another one. It's totally flexible, uh, nothing's fixed. We are working in hard light at the moment. Uh, you can actually choose something else. One thing to do, of course, is to play around in here and just try different blend modes. Uh, you might get uh, the effect you're looking for. Now you can see we dial that down to 30%. Uh, we set up our um, in our preferences the checkerboard design at the back there. You can see that there are no pixels present. If we just roll up that slider, you can see it actually brings that top Manchester blend layer back up again. Let's put the icon back again on the background layer. And we can see that the uh, at 49%, that's the kind of booster contrast that we are achieving with this uh, blend mode. Now, from there, you can actually merge it down, uh, flatten it. You look at think about the shortcut, Control E or Command E. Uh, very easy to do, or uh, merge visible or even just flatten the image and save it out from there. We're not going to do that, we're going to come back later on uh, to the next tutorial and we're going to look at some other things in here, we use masks and all kinds of things. Uh, so that's really just been uh, looking at blend modes, getting started in blend modes with layers. Uh, until the next time of course, it's uh, bye for now. <laughs>